Hey guys, I'm coming back at you again for another album review. Uh, I know I was supposed to do it later in the week, but the album's coming up pretty soon, so I best I get, get started. This marathon I'm doing is for the Shinedown Marathons. And this album review I'm doing is called Leave a Whisper. Now this is their first debut record. And I'm doing this all until May 4th, until Attention Attention comes out. So I'll go through track by track and let you know my thoughts on each track. Starting with track number one. And that is Left From The Inside. Uh, I'll fly from the inside, my bad. I said the wrong thing. Uh, I'm a little tired. But anyways... Fly From The Inside was a really good song. It's a great way to start the record. I love the track so much. It's a jamming song. They did a very good job. Even the live version for the music video was very cool. Which was a really good song. So I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. Pacing of the song was great. Nothing wrong with this song. Track number two, I believe, is Left Out. Uh, I almost got confused with the first track and the second track being left from the inside. And it should have. Uh, the regular title was Fly from the Inside, but I accidentally said left. Uh, moving on. Uh. Left Out was another good song from the track, from the album. Uh, pretty good drums. Drums were going at it very good in it. And the guitars were doing pretty good. Brent's voice was amazing. So it gets a 5 out of 5. And I do like the melody to it. Track number 3, Lost in the Crowd. This was a little bit of a mellower song, but it was still decent, and I still liked it. It's The melody is what makes the song very good, and the pacing of it was great. The guitars and the drums were a little soft, but it was still good enough to give it a 5 out of 5. So it's deserving of a 5 out of 5. Track number four, No More Love. Now, he kind of killed it in the chorus a lot. Because he just brought a lot of power into his voice in that chorus. And it was just spectacular. And the drums and guitar were just going at it. And it was great. The melody was amazing. This song gets a five out of five. Fuck Ugh, but, yeah, No More Love was a good song. Um, track number five is Better Version. Another good song from the record. It's a can, it continues the record going through it. It's, the pacing of this album is great. And it's... Deserving enough to give a 5 out of 5 better version. I do like this song. There are some songs that may feel okay. But yeah, it's a good track. Track number 6, Burning Bright. It's good. It's mellow. And that's what they were going for for this track. I guess this was a single... But I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Because it did interest me. And there are some stuff in there where it felt okay. But it was still an enjoyable track, I guess. But it gets a 4.5 out of 5. In Memory, track number 7. Mm, this song's decent. It's, it's good. Uh, the pacing's great. The melody's good. I, 
didn't have too much of a problem with this song, but I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Because it's decent. It's not like a very good song, but it's decent. Well, it's a good song, it's just not... I didn't see it to be very good, but it's fine. Track number 8, All I Ever Wanted. That's a pretty good song. Um, I guess it's deserving to give a 5 out of 5. The chorus is great. The melody's good. The guitars and drums in it are great. Brent's voice in it's very good. It's a pretty good jamming song. Track number 9, Stranger Inside. Eh, another okay track, I guess, to keep the album going. And it's going pretty good. So Stranger Inside gets a 4.5 out of 5. Melody's decent. The pacing when Brent's throwing his voice in there is okay. And it kind of makes the track fall a little short, but it does fine. Track number 10, Lacerated. I actually did like this song a lot. That's very good. Uh... It's a really good song to jam out to. It starts off a little slow, but when it hits the chorus, it just the drums are just going at a really good pace. And it's very catchy. And it's an enjoyable track, and now I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. Track number 11, Crying Out. This track is very good, too. It just starts off very heavy, and then he throws his voice in at the verse. I like the verse, I like the chorus, and the guitars and drums in it and the melody are great. It gets a 5 out of 5 as well. Track number 12, 45. Now, this is a song about, they made a video for this. I believe this is a song about a, a breakup or whatever. And he feels like he's standing down the barrel of a 45. And just like, I guess he made a mistake or something and he feels bad about it. So, but it was a great track. In the regular version, it's a great track to close the record. And I'm giving this a 5 out of 5. I like his voice in it a lot. It's very powerful. It's an emotional song. And it's deserving for a 5 out of 5. The final track, which is a bonus track, I believe. It's called Simple Man. This is the cover for the Leonard Skinner they're remaking it in their own version. And I know the Leonard Skinner one's a classic. And I do like the Leonard Skinner one a lot. But I'm going to say Shinedown did a better job. Even though the Leonard Skinner one is still good. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 because this song's very good. And that is going to wrap up this album review. I'm giving this album a 9.5 out of 10. This was a really good record. It's worth buying. It's amazing. Certain tracks are decent. And it was enjoyable. And that is going to wrap up this album review. It's definitely getting a 9 out of 10. Comment below and let me know your thoughts on Leave a Whisper. And I'll definitely see you in the next video.